back at you. Today I'm going to be talking about our um, our papayas here. Um, this is actually a, this is a red lady papaya, and this is a uh, I think they say it's a dwarf variety. It'll get a little bit taller than this, but um, some papayas get super tall, 20 feet plus. This one will probably get to be as tall as the, the garage up there, but um, you can see we got a lot of fruit on it, um, which is why I thought I'd do a video on it. Um, we didn't get a lot of fruit this summer. Uh, we have several papaya plants around our yard. Um, we didn't get a lot of fruit on any of them this summer, but uh, we're finally starting to get some rain, a little bit cooler weather, and I think it's helping them some. But I mean, this is just, uh, papaya is just a great plant to plant if you want, if you want food in your landscape and you want it quick. Um, this one is about a year and a half old. Um, we planted it at the beginning of last year, I think beginning of 2020, and um, it, we got fruit in 2020. Uh, they'll fruit for you when they're, I want to say maybe four or five feet tall, um, and I have... Um, I have several uh, different papayas in different stages, uh, plants that, that I can show you guys. We even have some wild ones over there. Um, but uh, this is our most mature plant right here, papaya plant. And it is just loaded with fruit right now. And you can see I have another one over here that was kind of neglected. Um, but I think it's starting to bounce back. Uh, we've, we've been mulching it. We mulched the area and this one just... Uh, was neglected and it was in full shade too but um they actually just cleared this lot next to us and now it's getting a lot of sun and i think it's gonna uh i think it's gonna bounce back for us but uh and i'll show you guys another one we have here i think i have two more in the backyard here and there's one right here we planted this one, uh, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago. And it's already looking good. This one will probably have fruit on it by, uh, by Christmas. Um, and then I got another one I'll show you. This one just put fruit out for the first time. And it's only about four feet, maybe five feet tall. Um, but this is what I'm talking about. You get fruit on these real early and it's just... I mean, like I said, if you want if you want food in your landscape and you want it quick, I would plant papayas and I would also plant bananas because uh, that's about as quick as you're going to get food off of any plant. Yeah, here's the other one back here. Yeah, look at this. This one's oh, this one's probably six feet tall now, but um, it's starting to get some real nice fruits here. Um, I'm pretty stoked because it didn't get this one. I would. I think this one's been in the ground for maybe um, nine or ten months, but uh, like I said, over the summer, none of them did very well. They didn't even look very well. The foliage didn't, um, but they've all bounced back with all the rain we've been getting in the, uh, I guess, the shorter days, cooler nights. We are getting some some good fruit on. I guess I'll show you guys the wild variety we have here, popping over the fence. And these won't really give us anything. You can see they have fruits and flowers on them, but the fruits never get really any bigger than maybe a big golf, a little bit bigger than a golf ball. Not even tennis ball size, but uh, I think I have another one over here somewhere, but um, papayas are really good. I mean, if you've, if you've never had them before, the red lady papaya, um, the fruits, I'll show you right now, we don't have any... Um, mature fruits on the on the tree I mean on the plant it's not really a tree on the plant um, but the fr you can see right now they're all green they're kind of roundish um, they'll get more oblong um, and then they'll yellow on the tree or, or they'll kind of turn an orangish yellow color when they're ripe um, and you can pick them a little green too and they will ripen um, inside on your counter but uh, uh you know best to leave the fruit on the tree I guess to get a natural ripening but um, you know you don't have to let them ripen a lot of people eat them green um, you might want to wait till they get a little bigger than this maybe that one on the bottom you could pick and um, you can shred it up and put it in salads or um, or just eat chunks of it green actually my two favorite ways to eat papaya is green or um, I like them ripe but I, I feel like at least the red lady papaya has somewhat of a musky uh, taste to it. 
So I, we like to soak them. We cut it into uh, pieces and soak it in um, lemon or lime juice. And oh man, it's good. And then uh, I guess a third favorite way would be to uh, ripe or green to cut it up into chunks and then you know you know throw it in your blender for smoothies and stuff. But uh, they're just so good. And um, the plant too. Um, some people might not like the way it looks, but I think it just looks so cool. It adds a whole nother texture, you know, in our garden here. Those leaves just look so different from everything else. Um, I just love it. I mean, it does kind of look like a giant weed, but uh, it's a giant weed that gives you a lot of fruit. Here. And they have really cool flowers, too. I don't think we have one. It's, it's open right now, but the flowers are like, it looks like a little fairy princess would live in the flower. They're so cool, but... Uh, yeah, look at that. Anyways, y'all, we're just stoked because we haven't had any papayas. We haven't had papayas for several months, and now we're about to get a bunch of them. And I'm just stoked, 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 stoked. So, uh, again, like I said, this was the Red Lady variety. Um, it was sold uh, to us as a dwarf variety. Um, and I've had one that's gotten bigger than this. My buddy has one that's bigger than this, but um, they don't get... At least this variety doesn't get near as, I mean, some, again, some papaya varieties get super tall, get taller than the, I mean, they'll get to be 20 feet tall, but um, this is a great one for uh, Central Florida. I think for South Florida, too, um, it's pretty disease resistant. Um, we don't really, we have it mulched, but I don't really fertilize it or anything. Um, I occasionally use the fish emulsion um, on it, but that's just occasionally. I mean, it just, this thing grows like a weed. Um, they do they like full sun like i said this one over here is suffering because for one we didn't have it mulched and i wasn't paying any attention to it and it was just sitting in you can see our soil here is basically like sugar sand it's not even soil um we have other parts of our property we have really nice soil but right where we planted this papaya here um we don't and um i finally mulched it and like i said it's starting to get sun so i think it's gonna start to do better we kind of planted it here in our little this is our little leafy green food forest got a mulberry some katuk moringa lago spinach and then hopefully this season papaya so all right y'all let me know if you have any questions or uh, if you have any comments uh on you know your own experiences growing papaya but again i would uh i'd recommend this to anybody it's a super fast grower and if you plant it i mean and, and take care of it you'll get fruit within a year um there's no doubt about it so it's just it's a great thing to add to your garden so anyways y'all i hope you enjoyed the video and until next time everybody out there